Good evening. This is the agenda of the regular board meeting, President Board of Trustees in Cook County, Illinois, the day of December 12, 2023. This is your time. I will ask for the clerk to call the roll, please. Trustee Katz? Here. Trustee Hodges? Here. Trustee Garcia? Here. Trustee Greer? Here. Trustee Richardson? Here. Trustee Claybrook? Here. Ms. McCormick okay. is present. Will you stand for the Pledge of Allegiance to the leader of Trustee Katz? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Is there any approval of corrections of the minutes of the regular board meeting that was held on November 28, 2023? Are there any corrections to be made to the minutes? <laughs> if there are no corrections to be made, I will ask for a motion to approve the minutes for November 28, 2023. I make a motion to approve the minutes for November 28, 2023. Okay, there's a motion by the trustee playbook to approve the minutes for November 28, 2023. Could we have a second, please? A second. A second by the trustee Hart. We'll take the vote. Trustee Taft? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Okay, thank you. Motion passed. Um, well, before we have the open session, if there's, any, uh, if there's anyone who would like to speak to the board, you just give us your name and your reason for speaking, and we will hear what you have to say. So at this time, I will ask for a motion to open the meeting to the public. I motion to open the meeting to the public. There's a motion on the floor by Trustee Hodges to open the meeting to the public. Can we have a second? Second. A second by Trustee Richardson. Will the clerk take the vote? Trustee Kapp? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Uh, motion passed, so the meeting is now open to the public. And please limit your comments for three minutes or less, please. Are there any public comments? Yes. Yes, sir. All right. In respect to the time, you set my timer. Okay, Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Oh, okay. If you just need to state your name, your, your first and last name, please. My name is Michael Clay. I'm the president of Safe World Village. Uh, we will be located at 14421 South Torrance. Uh, I just want to just thank you all for the time and thank you for your uh, for your uh, patience. I look forward to partnering partnering with the village and bringing resources uh, for for the community, uh, for adults, for families. Uh, and giving services for our community. Um, we acquired the property in um, June and um, all of us attempted to get our water turned on, so hopefully everything will winding down uh, as far as litigation and we're looking forward to uh, growing and doing some service uh, for our, and partnering with the city so that we can help the community and help the surrounding communities bring in resources, especially around the holidays. This is one of our biggest times for giving season. So we really want to uh, encourage collaboration and partnership to help feed families, give toys, coats, and different types of drives, and also bring the resources needed to help our, our county, our city, and, and our surroundings uh, become greater and better. So I just look forward to, I wanted to introduce myself to everyone here, uh, also the citizens and the people who are watching here on YouTube. So I just wanted to just thank you for this time and, and observe the meeting and see where I can uh, add value uh, partner and collaboration. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend. Thank you. Thank you. Any other public comments? Maria Rosales, um, I just wanted to know if the water fountain in the entrance is going to get fixed. Water fountain? Yeah, because there's no water to refill my water bottle. So I just wanted to know if it was going to get fixed in the future. You know, that would cost bad, no? I'm well. I wanted to know yes or no. So yeah. maybe bring well, a bigger had, water. Um, I think we had it isolated during the COVID time, I believe. So, but that's something we could take a look at. Thank you. Are there any other public comments? I will ask for a motion to close the meeting to the public. I make a motion to close the meeting to the public. Well, the motion is moved by Trustee Richardson to close the meeting to the public. Can we have a second, please? Second. Second by Trustee Claybrook. We'll take the vote. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrooks? 
Yes. Yeah, thank you. Motion passed. The meeting is now closed to the public. Um, in the mayor's report, uh, some of the immediate families have uh, signed up, you know, for some type of uh, Christmas fest or whatever it is that we will uh, do. So whoever those uh, immediate families are, we will, we will contact them. I know we were supposed to be setting up something at the center, so uh, I mean, three months last day will be Saturday. Yeah. For the 16th, so we want to do something after that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I hope everyone will have a nice Christmas and a happy holiday. And, and in 2024, it's going to be the goal of the village to have a more of a, a concentration on some of the vacant properties we're doing. I mean, we don't have a lot, but we have some, and most people don't know that they're vacant because we kind of keep them up last cut and that sort of thing, in which we also uh, uh, plan to get our money back for those, um, for those uh, services. So, so I'll have some extra work for the attorney, but I just haven't, I just haven't talked to him about it yet. So uh, I think that's all I have for the Oh, you heard it. All right, clerk's your best. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Secretary of State was at our Secretary of State mobile unit was at our senior center on November 3rd, 30th, I'm sorry. And there were um, 13 driver's licenses issued, 15 state IDs, two um, driver license lookups, nine vehicle um, renewal stickers. <coughs> I mean, I've been renewed. Uh, renewal sticker nine. Nine, okay. Um, eleven vision tests, two donor organ donors, three real um, driver license IDs were issued, and three state ID real IDs were issued. One real CDL was issued. So um, total drivers issued thirty four. Okay, so thank you very much. Is that it? Sorry. Um, um, please, residents, we urge you to sign up for our code red. Um, we, because of this change of weather, at times our, our water main breaks have been happening, and we send out a code red to let our residents know um, if, they, if there's a boil order or some kind of an emergency. So if you haven't signed up for code red, please do so. You can either sign up by our website and click on code red, or you can call the village um, office and we could um, take your information and fill it in for you. Also, our holiday hours for clerk's office, Friday, December 22nd, will be open from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. We'll be closed for um, Christmas holiday, Monday, December 25th. On Friday, December 29th, we will be open from 9 to 12 p.m. And we will be closed Monday, January 1st for the new year. And that is all I have here. Thank you, Clay, for that information and your report. Uh, public education, health, safety, and welfare. Let's see, Yeah. One second. Well, she's doing that. Discussion of, consideration of, and taking action on hiring Malik. Um, did you hear? Shahara. Shahid. Shahid. Lahi for the position of Auxiliary Officer for the Village of Burnham Police Department. So if you get out here to see that again, you know, sometimes we're working on a, on a job or whatever the case may be, uh, but uh, you must to see. Okay. I would like to make a motion on hiring Malik Shahi for the position of Auxiliary Police Officer for the Village of Burnham Police Department. Okay, so there's a motion on the floor by Trustee Greer to hire Mr. Malik. And now we need a second, please. You did make the motion, right? Yes, second. We need a second. A second by Trustee Greer. The clerk take the roll. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrooks? Yes. And motion passed. Proceed, Trustee Bill. Discussion of, consideration of, and taking action 
to approve or not approve on filing Mr. J Jason Jackson for the position of auxiliary officer for the Village of Burnham Police Department. And then a question from the board. Okay, the same question. Yeah. I'd like to make a motion on hiring Mr. Jason Jackson for the position of auxiliary officer for the Village of Burnham Police Department. So there's a motion approved by Trustee Greer to have Mr. Jackson as a auxiliary police officer. We have a second, please. A second. A second by Trustee Hodges. Would the clerk take the roll? Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Flavor? Yes. All right, motion passed. We'll see you, Trustee Green. Discussion of, consideration of, and taking action to approve or not approve on hiring. Mr. Michael Rowe for the position of Community Service Officer for the Village of Vernon Police Department. And before we do the last one, um, our uh, dispatch center has been um, uh, disbanded as we presently have known it for the last I mean, several, several, several years, like forever almost. So if uh, some issues, um, you know, potential litigation, or whatever the case might have been or would have been, so we've had to uh, make some adjustments, bring in some extra personnel to try to help to keep that uh, um, keep it operational. And anytime we have somebody back in the uh, like the lock up, then we have to uh, we have to make sure we keep them on the surveillance and make sure we don't have any issues there, and the burner doesn't have any liabilities, and the attorney be threatening me. Either. Okay, proceed, proceed. Please. I would like to make a motion on Harry Michael Rowe for the position of Community Service Officer for the Village of Vernon Police Department. Okay, so there's a motion for my trustee Greer to hire Mr. Rowe. So we have a second, please. Second. A second by Trustee Richardson. We'll call Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claver? Yes. Well, thank you, motion passed. See, Trustee Greer. Vernon Fire and Medical Report. This is for November 2023 for a fire call. There were 13. And some of the calls were a car fire, rubbish fire, grass fire. Uh, then they had three special service calls, three automobile accidents. And for the ambulance, very busy, 41. There were 27 during the day and 47 <coughs> during the night. And some of the calls <coughs> consist of a di diabetic incident, trouble breathing, three, there were chest pain, there were uh, two wounds, one overdose, three convulsion and seizures, and 20 other medical emergencies. So the fire department was very busy. And that was the report for November 2023. I'd like to thank everyone that participated in our Christmas toy drive. And if you still would like to participate in the toy drive, you may. And please uh, do so by leaving your items at our receptionist window. And we just thank everyone for uh, participating in our toy drive. The holiday vendor event was canceled because of FEMA. So later in the coming new year, we will have our vendor event. We will reschedule our vendor event. Let us all work together to keep our village safe. If you see something, say something. If a crime is in progress, if someone's health, safety, or property is in immediate danger, call 911. Otherwise, for any immediate concern, Non-emergency, you can call 708-891-2122. Thank you to everyone that participated in our electric disposal day, uh, which was November the 24th and November the 25th. And as a reminder, Homewood Disposable will not pick up any electronic or hazardous waste from the alley. So please hold these items for our next electronic disposable day. Um, this is some information about COVID. There are three new COVID symptoms. Congestion, stuffy nose, nausea, and diarrhea. 
These three joined the other symptoms identified by the Center for Disease Control. Always stay alert. The likelihood of COVID-19 disappearing anytime is very, very low. COVID right now is very <coughs> contagious and it spreads quickly. It can be more serious for the older adult. People ask, are you still contagious after five days of COVID? <coughs> You're most infectious during the first five days. You should stay home and isolate yourself. Nutrient is good for COVID, such as vitamin C, zinc, omega-3 fatty acids, and fiber. Avoid foods that are high in sugar and salt. And I, um, that is the end of my report. I just want to thank everyone for a happy holiday season. And uh, enjoy your family. Always be kind to one another. I was, uh, just, I was at the store shopping the other day. And a lot of times, I had a, best, a half basket full of items. And there was um, people that were behind me had like two or three items. So I just said, oh, you know, let them go. Being considered, I just let them go on first. So then after that, I, I proceeded to the counter to pay for my items. So behind me, this gentleman said, I'll take care of your groceries. <laughs> so he took care of my grocery bill. My bill was $84.12. Wow. So if you, you never know who's watching you. You never know. You never, never know. So always pay. Be kind from yes. your heart. From yes. your heart. And, and that was just a lesson, you know. That I, that's a testimony I just been telling everyone. There's a God. There's so a God. That, that was a blessing. Yes. There's a God. Happy, happy holiday. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, the vehicles are all serviced and prepared for the uh, winter months. Also, the uh, new heaters, they were installed at the public uh, works building, I believe it was like last week. And uh, that's all I have. I just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and uh, enjoy your families and stay safe. Same to you. Good evening. Good evening. Discussion of consideration of and taking action to approve or not approve ordinance number 2023-0-006, Main Subdivision Ordinance approving a final plat of subdivision for 14559 South Torrance Avenue, Village of Burnham. See, the attorney uh, was standing here and asked me uh, about a week or so ago that I know what Mr. Malibu was going to do with this property. At that time, I told him that I didn't know, but I did speak to him this afternoon, and he said that a couple of uh, people have approached him, maybe about putting some type of fast food restaurant there, some other opportunities. So it would probably be a, a economic development project sometime in the future. At least that would be his goal anyway. Mm -hmm. That's right next to the gas station? Yeah, on the east side, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, make a motion to approve ordinance number 2023-0-006, Mali subdivision ordinance approving a final plat of subdivision for 14559 South Corners Avenue in Village of Burnham. Well, could we have a second, please? Second. Second. Second by Trustee Claybrook was going to take the roll. Trustee Tapp? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. A motion passed. Trustee Trustee Garcia. Yes. Discussion on? I could just say with Mr. Malley's subdivision plan, as I understand, our village engineer has to approve it yet. There was a pickup at, I think, IDOT. Yeah. And there's moving the stuff around, I think 99% of it is done, except some other language had to be added to the plat. And on Friday, according to the surveyor who was doing it, in my discussions with him, he was trying to get it done Friday, and Mr. Malley was going to have to run around with it again. Conversations with our village engineer, Monday he was not in, I talked with him, he wasn't going in, he wasn't feeling well. Today, is 
his text message to me was at about 4.30. The day got away from him. He didn't get into the office. There was problems with Gary. He had to go there. So I don't know if he's say, actually seen the revised, revised plat yet, but it's 99% okay. Just some tweaks had to be done. I don't have a problem with not seeing his signature on it, but on the revised, revised edition, but I think we ought to pass it tonight and get it over with. Okay. And we just look at that little caveat. Once IDOT signs it and uh, uh, our uh, I have to sign off on it, then America can sign it. Okay, thank you, Attorney. Let's proceed. Discussion on consideration of and taking action to approve or not approve resolution number 2023 R 014, a resolution declaring a certain real estate vacant parcels 29 01 417 021 000. 29-01-417-022-0000 and 29-01-417-023-0000 and 29-01-417-024-0000 surplus and authorizing the sale of set for vacant lots known as 145.32 South Torrance Avenue. Okay, well, a little bit of history about this property. So these pens started on the north side of the next to that apartment building at 1015, and the store and the lot and the parking lot there, and it's 15 through 20, and this is 21 through 24, and 25 is up beside the other building over there to give them a little space for any future development, whatever may happen there, and so, this was 11 pins all together, so now it'll be 10 pins that'll be owned by the same person there. So and they plan to do some additional development at some other level. He's pretty good at it, cool. You know, I'm concerned about this building that they can lot do before they build on it. And that's all I'm concerned about. Yeah, we'll make sure. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. We'll make sure. But they're parking on some of this now, right? Yeah. No. Some of this yeah. is their parking lot. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, so make a motion to approve resolution number 2023 r 014 a resolution declaring a certain real estate vacant parcels um dash 29 01-417-021 29-01-417-022-0000 29-01-417-023-000 and 2901-417-024-0000 surplus and authorizing the sale of set for vacant lots real estate commonly known as 145.32 South Torrance. That's O zero zero seven. So, do we have a second, please? I'll second it. Second by Trustee Hodges. We'll probably take the roll. Trustee Taft? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claver? Yes. A motion. And the one other thing yeah, before we have a certain solution is 014. Yeah. You said seven. That was an ordinance. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, but another thing with this. Um, Property, uh, we had tried diligently, you know, to get a sit down restroom at that location, but that kind of fell through. So, Ms. Stanley and I was involved in that. So, we had um, we got some additional honest money, and the amount that we got, we just knew it was going to work, you know, in excess of fifteen thousand dollars. But, but it still fell through. So we put honest money up, and we don't go through it, we don't get it back. So. But anyway, so this property has been a plus for the village all the way around. What is the proceed to the next one? Uh, uh, if I can just interject here. Uh, the resolution just passed authorizes the mayor to sign the contract. And uh, the gentleman put down 10%, $3,000. The sale price is $30,000. I have the contract here. Uh, I sent copies of the resolution in the following item number three, ordinance, 
which authorizes the transfer and the sale of, uh, to, to culminate the sale of the property to the individual uh, to his attorney. And uh, the information I understand, uh, I sent a letter, talked to, uh, talked to him once, two telephone calls and a fax later, uh, to just to what I understand, he will order his title commitment and prepare the deed he wants the way it's going to be held in title after the mayor signs the contract and gets it. He won't order that I, I, those items. And I set, told him in the last fax last week, then I sent him this ordinance already. He said, we'll just have to table it until he pres presents the deed for signature and has the balance of the money. We can exchange uh, at that time. And uh, my suggestion is with item number three is to table it to the next meeting. Um, mm -hmm. to we to accommodate the deal. I don't have a, I don't have a legal description. I don't have a a title commitment. I don't have a deed for you to sign. Okay, so you want to table item number three. Item number yeah. three until the next meeting. I think it should be done by that time. Okay. So, Trustee Garcia, so at the recommendation of legal counsel, so you make a motion to table number three until the next meeting, to the next meeting, which will be January the 9th. So I make a motion to table um, item number three until um, the next meeting, January 9th. Okay, so there's a motion on the floor, so can we have a second? <coughs> second. Please, please take the roll. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claver? Yes. Thank you. And I'm not the main trustee, Garcia, before you proceed, you know, one of the things that Burnham, I mean, has been at a disadvantage for years is that Burnham, I mean, did not own any land, and you cannot promote economic development if you don't own the property. Mm -hmm. You know, you got property on the river, and if people wanted two and a half million dollars for it, and they end up settling for, I mean, 10 times less than that. <laughs> I mean, 10 or 15 years later, so um, uh, the economy fell. I mean, the bottom fell out the economy and just kind of uh, messed up a lot of things. So we have to have, I mean, uh, Burnham has to own the land in order for us to promote it. So that we were blessed enough to acquire these lots through some means that I will not get into tonight, but um, but, it's, uh, but it's been a, a great blessing for the village. Discussion of consideration of and taking action to approve or not approve ordinance number 2023-0-008, an ordinance adopting and approving an employee manual for the village of Burnham. Okay, Luke, would you like to explain a little bit about what this is about? Or would you like to take this uh, I didn't have anything to do with that manual. I have nothing. It's just, it's just I can a, tell you this much. What I know about it is that uh, uh, there is concern throughout the state because the new law is taking effect January 1st of uh, paid leave for all. And its effective date, uh, the village had an opportunity to opt out of that. Otherwise, you're going to be subject to state provisions. And you could opt out if you had uh, already policies in effect on paid leaves for your employees. The village did have paid leave for the police department, the uh, water department, and public works. But the civilian employees who were civil in nature and the department heads did not have a particular policy in effect. So rather than opting out of it, it's my understanding the mayor and attorney, uh, Felicia, uh, yeah. uh, I'm sorry. Frazier. Frazier, right. Uh, uh, worked together mm -hmm. on a matter uh, last weekend, this past weekend, and came up with the policy and Felicia had drafted the Resolution or ordinance adopting that employee manual as to those policy beliefs. So I, I don't know exactly the contents of it, but uh, I know with her competent uh, counsel, uh, we've got something in good place. Okay, I'll proceed and trust to go soon. 
I was going to lay down the question from the board. I'm sorry. I can see that. Is this our first time having a name? Or we always had a name? Or is this our first official name? Yeah, we had a, um, Manny, we've had a, up in time, I think we would have to make a couple of adjustments to that one. Big policy. Yeah. This basically codifies what the policy is unwritten, but now it's not. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, the see first thing I see. So make a motion to approve ordinance number 2023-0-008, and ordinance adopting and approving an employee manual for the village of Burnham. Okay, so that was a motion on former Trustee Garcia to approve this ordinance number. Could we have a second, please? A second. Second by Trustee Hardy with a project of order. Trustee Taft? Yes. Trustee Hardy? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claver? Yes. Motion passed the same Trustee Garcia. On discussion of consideration of and taking action to approve or not approve ordinance number 2023 0 010. In ordinance amending the village of Ordinance, ordinance is number 2023-0-005, entitled in ordinance establishing the salaries of elected officials, appointed officials, local liquor control commissioner, member of the police department, members of the fire department, and other employees of the village of Burnham. Okay, are there any questions from the board? I have one. If you go to page two, section four, the effective date, there's a typo that says it's going to go effect 2233, which is not going to happen in my lifetime. So we got to remove one of those extra threes. You see section four. Are you not going to be around that long? No, I won't be there. I'm not even sure that our planet will be there back then. <laughs> um, what page we got? Uh, page two of four of the... Uh, of the document of the ordinance, the effective date has a, is a typo. Oh yeah, thank you. you see that one? I'll pass it through. The mayor might be here. I won't. <laughs> thank you. All right. Otherwise, and why that otherwise the raise doesn't go into effect until that date. And why is that going to be that we have to amend it? Well, but we amended it because um, again, like I was speaking about earlier about the new dispatch center that we find the format and they put together. So um, the, uh, some of the community service officers, they will have to help the man that as well as, uh, as well as some of the realtors. So we just raised a couple of dollars for each position. Yeah, and it only affects those too, no one else. Okay, so proceed just again. Um, motion to approve ordin ordinance number 2023-0-010 and ordinance amending the village of Burnham, ordinance number 2023-0-005, entitled an ordinance establishing the salaries of elected officials, appointed officials, local liquor control commissioner, members of the police department, members of the fire department, and other employees of the village of Burnham. There's a motion of four by Trustee Garcia to approve this ordinance. So could we have a second, please? Second, please. Second by Trustee Cleaver. We'll take a Trustee Taft? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Motion says, do you have anything else to present for you? No. Thank you very much, Trustee Garcia. Finance Trustee Taft? Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Discussion of consideration of and taking action approved or not approved the village of Burnham's aggregated levy for 2023 for compliance with the truth and taxation law as being 4,562,000. The aggregated amount was determined based on the 2022 agency tax rate report for the extension grand total of $4,344,504. Multiply by the amount by 105% and round off the amount. So I'd like to motion that we approve the levy um, no. for the compliance of the truth and taxation laws being 4,562,000. Um, motion to approve the uh, 
Mr. Levy, the Eric Levy. And could we have a second, please? Second. Let's talk about Trustee Richardson. Trustee Pat? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Motion to proceed, Trustee Pat. Discussion of consideration of and taking action, approved or not approved, on ordinance number 2023-0-009 and ordinance loving taxes for the fiscal year beginning May 1st, 2023 and ending April 30th, 2024 of the Village of Burnham, Cook County, Illinois, 60633-2081. I'd like to make a motion to approve ordinance number 2023-0-009 and ordinance loving taxes for the fiscal year beginning May 1st, 2023 and ending April 30th, 2024. Okay, so now the motion will approve by Trustee Kemp to approve this ordinance. Do we have a second, please? Second. Second by Trustee Greer. We'll probably take the roll. Trustee Kemp? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Trust Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. I'm I proceed, Trustee Kemp. And I have another one. Discussion of consideration of and taking action, approve or not approve on authorizing the payment of this month's and last month's bills of like to make a motion that we authorize the payment of this month, payment of this month's and last month's bills. So we have the motion approved by Trustee Kemp to approve last month and this month's bills. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Trustee Richmond. We'll take the vote. Trustee Kemp? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Is that all? <coughs> I have another item. So last week there was an accident on the Burnham Bridge where somebody took out one of the signs on the median. And the next day, or one of the next days, the state was there working on the guardrail, like replacing some of the guardrail on the other side of the bridge. And they didn't pick up the, the post that was knocked over. Like you think they would have, it's the same crew. Was it on the post or was it there? It's, it's, it's probably their post. It's like it was in the median and somebody went up the median and knocked it off. And it was on the sidewalk, all beat up to it. The car had to be wrecked. Mm -hmm. But the state was there, and it's probably my fault for not calling the state. The state probably won't do anything unless we call. But they were like working right across the bridge from where that sign was knocked out. And they didn't, uh, I don't even know if it's still there. Have you noticed it? No. Have you guys noticed the sign? No? Mm -hmm. It was on the west side of the bridge. It's probably on the Cal City side. It's real close to being by the river where the sign is. So it might not be at Burnham, but either way, it's still there. if it's still there, I'll call tomorrow. But you think the guys were there, right? They're on the bridge. They had all those crews. They're changing some of that guardrail. You think they would have at least picked it up, but they didn't. So, yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much. Is that, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Thanks. Thank you, Trustee Cap. We have a report. The public utility trustee, Richard. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Cubs is an organization that uh, kind of police the public utilities in Illinois, and they've uh, noted that these uh, alternative electricity suppliers are charging more for electricity than ComEd. So they recommend that you, if you're using one of those alternatives, that you check the rate that you're being charged. That's it. And happy holidays, Feliz Navidad. Happy Feliz Navidad. Navidad. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Trustee Richmond. Uh, Park and Recreation, Trustee Hodges. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I'm, I'm going to echo uh, what Trustee Greer said. Thank you so much for uh, giving to the toy drive. And I really, really appreciate all the people that's giving up. We also, we, can, we have another week left. If you still want to bring in some toys for some kids, you're more than welcome to bring in some toys. We're working uh, well with that. And again, this is one of those, this is, uh, this is a really, really holiday. We can take the time to really connect with each other. So if you know somebody in need, help them out. And um, just be there for your neighbor because that's really that's really important right now because there's a lot of people going through and I think we have to be conscious of what's going on next door sometimes. And if you got a little extra, give it to your neighbor. That's something I wanted to say. Also, um, coming in more part district, got a couple things going on. December 16th, they have a Winter Wonderland uh, Christmas movie event for the seniors, but you got to register. Um, it's going to be at Sandridge Community Center uh, from two to six, but you got to register. And their number is 
three zero and just ask about the Winter Wonderland movie. It's free, but it's for seniors. Mm -hmm. Also that morning, they'll have a breakfast with Santa um, at 10 o'clock a.m. It, it says that um, I, I believe it's free for all people who live in the Kind of Memorial Park District around that community. And so, so it'll be at 10 o'clock in Sandwich Community Center that morning. So December 16th is going to be a busy day at the Park District that day. So you go out and, and be active with them. That's all I got for today. And Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Did anybody go Year to the tree lighting they had last Friday night? It was rescheduled because the township? Oh, no, it was Cal City. Cal City. Oh. They rescheduled it because the week before it rained. And they had a lot of tents and things set up, but I was at a basketball game, so I missed it. Yeah, but if they had a lot of like tents set up, you didn't go. No, but couldn't make it. But uh, I can see. see. I wonder how it was. I because I had a lot of stuff set up though. <coughs> you didn't have to reschedule because it was raining. Yeah, they rescheduled because it rained the week before. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you. Yes. Jeff, can I ask a question? Sure. When did, what time was the breakfast with Santa? 10 o'clock. Yeah. On the same day, to us again? Yep. The same day, the same day. Oh, you mind? Okay, you want to, uh, it's free. Yeah, oh, it's free. free. <laughs> huh? It's free, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Well, you want more information about it, I got to be fun to begin the call. Where is that? It's going to be at Sandwich Community Center. December 16th. I just did. And also, you want to volunteer to help us wrap some of these gifts for the kids, let us know, too, all right? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think after you mentioned AMVETS Post 43, they had their annual crafts um, show on Sunday. So I'd just like to thank everyone who <coughs> had mentioned it. And uh, so I'd like, I'd like to thank everyone that came out to the show. It was nice. And we bought a trustee Richardson and myself attended. Wow. And I'd just like for, for us as a community to support our local business people and support MVETS Post 43. So again, thank everyone who came out to support them. Um, I came in on the tail end of when Trustee Jeff had the uh, mentoring program. Uh, you didn't mention that how did it turn out? Did the, did the uh, boys like it or? Uh, well, we, well, it was something we used part of with the Burnham School to just to help some of eighth grade boys. And it was just something I wasn't even trying to make it a, a really big deal because I think it's one of the things that as as we of our community, I want to thank the mayor for helping me this is his idea to work with me. But I think as we as a community I think it's it's our responsibility to undergird some of the youth and the people who seniors in our community. And it was a really good day. The kids enjoyed it. We'll keep that going. And I want to thank uh, Chief Chief Nick and all of them from the police department. I see Coaster back there. He was a really huge part of that. I think it was a really great day. Trusty Trav, he was there. I really appreciate you being there. Of course, Mayor, I mean, you're amazing. I appreciate everybody uh, and that support. We're going to keep it going. We're going to next, we're going to connect with the uh, fire department. And the, we're going to make it where the boys in the community can hang out and mentorship with some of the professionals in our community. And that's all I'm trying to do is just. Just give them a chance to be successful and to see other people around to lift them up. Man, I appreciate everyone to to um, to pitch in to undergird our youth and our community. Thank y'all so much. Uh, Jennifer, uh, uh, Jennifer today. Mm -hmm. I don't see where she got back yet, but for what she does, I don't know. Perfect. And we'd like to thank you, Trustee Hodges, for working with the youth. Thank you. And you're doing such a fantastic job. Thank so again, you. thank you so much. Yes. Thank you, Trustee Harvey. So that is a presentation of petitions, and communications, just monitors, and a memorial. I'm going to ask for a moment of silence from us, uh, Jesse. Thurston. I'm a Jesse Thurston. I think this is his last name. So, I mean, he had a stroke a couple weeks ago. and. So his mother said she didn't think he could make it, and unfortunately he did not make it. So we will have a moment of silence for him and we'll push him. Okay, thank you. Is there any unfinished business? Do we have to suspend the next meeting? What are you going to do? Is there any unfinished business? Uh, new business, would you take that trustee? Uh, 
discussion of, consideration of, and taking action to approve or not approve on authorizing the counseling of the scheduled board meeting of December 26, 2023. So are there any questions about that? If not, we'll go ahead and proceed. I make a motion to approve on counseling the scheduled board meeting for December 26, 2023. So there was a motion on the floor, then on the floor to uh, suspend the meeting two days after Christmas. So could we have a second on that? A second. A second by Trustee Claybrook with the first Trustee Sass? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. All right, motion passed. Uh, uh, so let's see you on January the 9th, Lord and Lord. And, uh, this time I will ask for a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. And there's a motion on floor by Trustee Claybrook to adjourn. We have a second. I second. All right, a second by Trustee Hardy with a project below. Trustee Taft? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Most of the job, thank you for coming. Ms. Ross, I need to see you for your leave. Okay.